Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Aditya Gupta. In this video, we'll be discussing how do you study medicine in your third and the final year. Um, so uh, let's tell right into it. The problem with medicine, as you all might know, is the fact that it's it's actually quite literally infinite. I mean, there's actually no end to it. It's not just vast. It's literally infinite. If you delve into just even a small topic, which you might think is small, you can yes, you know, just keep on going into and into and into it. There's no end to the amount of reading that you want to do as far as medicine is concerned. Let's take for example asthma. So for example, for your exam point of view, they will uh, uh, probably, irrespective of the university, be it Ames or be it you know, Mamsi or be it any other college in this country, they'll almost always ask what is the management of acute severe asthma, or serious asthmaticus. But when you want to read about asthma, you can read the GINA guidelines, you can read the pathophysiology, you can read about the management, you can read about the new and monoclonal antibodies that have been involved in man management of uh, asthma, be it uh, omalizumab, be it uh, uh, restlizumab, and things like that. So the problem this infinite thing of medicine is that you actually yourself have to actively restrict yourself to topics and now you'll ask me how do i restrict myself to topics how do i decide which topic is important and which to leave and you know can i leave it completely and this leaving it completely will uh, create a FOMO in your mind it will care of fear of fear of missing out if i do not read this topic or a question so that is the thing that is a problem with medicine there is so much to read that you can never ever complete it. So it's better to restrict yourself to a particular syllabus, or restrict yourself to a particular amount of topics and revise and repeat those topics ad addendum as many times as you po possible. And, you know, make sure that you never get a question wrong in those topics, be it your theory examination or be it your postgraduate entrance examination or be it your next, rather than focusing on covering the vastness of medicine because you cannot cover it. We rather should go restrict ourselves to a range of topics and go in depth of those topics rather than increasing our breadth. That should be the strategy as far as medicine is concerned. So how do you restrict ourselves to topics? The first and foremost is emergencies. I mean, this is a given. Emergencies are the bedrock of medicine. They will be asked in your entrance examination. They will be asked as far as your uh, theory examinations are concerned. For example, if you're reading about epilepsy, nobody will ask you the management of how do you manage a you know, epileptic patients, how do you switch between drugs and stuff, stuff like that. Those questions will be rare, but they'll keep on asking you about Cetus epilepticus. Similarly, as far as asthma is concerned, they might just ask you about the names of the drugs, but the actual step one, step two, step three management has never been asked as far as the entrance examination is concerned, but acute severe asthma always has been asked. Tumor lysis syndrome always has been asked. They had uh, The questions related to acute lymphoblastic leukemia might be low, less, but tumor lysis syndrome is asked again and again and again. Take any topic for that matter of fact the emergencies remain the focus be it your postgraduate entrance examination or be it as far as your theory examination is concerned the second thing that you have to actually actively do is infections for but for infections you don't need to read actually you need harrison you actually actively need to read psm psm is a much better book your park is a much better book as far as infection is concerned be it malaria dengue or typhoid chikungunya whatever it is uh, because Park is written in an Indian context rather than Harrison, which is written in a foreign context. So read your infections, that infectious disease chapter in Park thoroughly. That actually needs to be read thoroughly. Make notes from it and you will be set. The last and foremost in order to actively restrict yourself uh, is to make sure that you have a set of notes. Now these notes can be any coaching that you attended, any app that you attended, so you restrict yourself. Or you can use the, what I use personally, I feel is the best me mechanism is to use Miri Harrison's. You just cover those topics which are there in Mini Harrison. That's about it. You do not go beyond that. In that Mini Harrison, if you feel this topic requires a bit more depth reading, for example, I think Mini Harrison, they have given status of Lipticus completely. One table is there and you that's about it. And in fact, that will cover most of your question. But if you want to feel it, if you want to delve a bit into it, just restrict your, yourself to the topics that are given in Mini Harrison, that booklet form of Harrison. That booklet form of Harrison actually is good enough as far as your entrance examination and your theory examination is concerned. So, and if you're reading Harrison, the most important thing is, yes, you have to read some amount of Harrison. I'm not really a big fan of Harrison. In general, if you're reading Harrison, please avoid reading the pathophysiology and the introduction completely. They are made, you know, they are made to you know suck you into this web called medicine. Focus on uh, management and diagnosis, the diagnostic criteria and management. That's why I actually used to like CMDT more. I used to believe that Robbins plus CMDT is actually equivalent to Harrison and it used, it worked for me. But a lot of people don't like the way CMDT is written. So that's okay. So focus on reading Harrison, but focus on the management and diagnosis part rather than delving into the clinical features. And those things are irrelevant. They are not asked these days. There was a point of time when they used to ask you what is a boutonniere or what is the, you know, uh, swan neck deformity, but rather now the question I would focus on the management, you know, 
which drugs are given for rheumatoid arthritis what is a triple drug regimen methotrexate hydroxychloroquine sulfazolazine these three things together and stuff like that rather than them focusing on the actual you know clinical features kitne percent mein ye hota hai ye hota hai these questions have reduced drastically in the previous year so i'll say restrict yourself the restriction can be done with the help of mini harrison restriction can be done with the help of a coaching that you are in can be anything dr deepak mahal is a good teacher dr dilip is a good teacher you know your uh, i'm not too sure about the maro faculty uh, or the rams faculty even the uh, the bhartiya textbook of medicine the, that's one textbook even that is actually decent but the entire point is not that the, these books are decent and which one is the better one the ac- actual point is that you restrict yourself to a topic if you want to go into depth you go into depth in that particular topic rather than covering the entire breadth of medicine it is the depth that you have to cover for a small particular amount of topics and that's only we will be able to do first and foremost is emergencies make sure you do your emergencies properly for emergencies uh, there's a book i'll say washington manual of critical care that you can consider it's a foreign authored book if you want an indian book chug is a really good book actually chug is a very really good book you can actually consider that the second infections again have to done from pa third coming to the core medicine you know your rheumatoid arthritis your asthma your asthma again is sort of an emergency or you know things like that for that i'll say stick to the topics that are there in mini harrison read the management from mini harrison if you want you want to delve into further you want to make some extra notes then only read harrison and only read the management part please don't go into pathophysiology you have already done the pathophysiology as far as robin is concerned you do not have time for that do not waste your time while reading robin you know you will actually be reading path again instead of reading medicine so focus on the management and diagnostic aspects rather than the pathophysiological aspects that you have already done in your second year i hope you have done in your second year and that's how you do it make sure you make notes i've already made available notes of my fiance dr divya uh, so you can take an inspiration from that you know let's say you take her rheumatoid uh, uh, you know rheumatology or uh, pulmonology notes for example so what she has done is beautifully restricted herself to a number of topics filled information about that topics has not gone into depth about a lot of topics but make sure that you revise those particular topics again and again be it your entrance examination or be it your theory examination and that's how you'll be able to conquer the subject called medicine please i'll repeat it again because this is a mistake which almost everyone does we get scared by the vastness of medicine and it's okay to get scared by the vastness of medicine but the entire point is we have to actively ourselves restrict that vastness into small pieces you can use matthews i have no problems with using matthews but again matthews is a very thick book you actively have to decide which topics are good as far as matthews is concerned and which topics are not good as far as matthews is concerned so my strategy simple should be first you do all your emergencies okay first is foremost emergencies take chuk see the topics you can do the chop topics on chuk itself or you can use uh, harrison and do the emergencies the second thing that you do is infections and finally you move on to either the coaching notes or the mini harrison you know the harrison book the small down was a version of the bhartia or you know deepak marwa book or your mudit khan is actually a decent book or a note you have made you can consider the various notes as well as a reference or something like that and finally and these three things together and that's about it you restrict yourself to this you do not go into you know ki acha uh, let's say you are doing rheumatology uh, so you read about rheumatoid arthritis and sle and uh, you know jogren syndrome and maybe one or two more topics but then then you felt like let's read about ig4 related disease as well let's read about that xyz random you know uh a uh, very rare uh, uh, rheumatoid disease as well i should delve into that as well please avoid that neither the questions will be asked will be just wasting time and that's why people keep on wasting time again even when you're doing these diseases be it rheumatoid arthritis or sle you've already read about the pathophysiology of sle in your path in your you know immunity chapter of robins or rheumatoid arthritis in uh, uh, as far as uh, mm, your uh, Uh, rheum, rheum, uh, rheum, uh rheumatology is concerned to focus rather on management rather than going into pathophysiology so this is my advice on how you can read medicine and make sure that you are able to finish medicine in a small amount of time even if for that matter if you want to consider let's say cardiology then focus more most important focus will obviously be on heart attack you know your myocardial infarction and angina and stable angina and unstable angina this will be maybe the major chunk you do not need to concern yourself about uh, you know random cardiomyopathies i know once uh, once in a while takotsubo cardiomyopathy question has come but they are rare the majority of the time the questions will be focused on these emergencies myocardial infarction what do you need to do how do you need to manage it and stuff like that uh cardiomyopathy still is an important topic but sometimes people go into very random r- rare ecg syndrome and st- things like that avoid that apart from these there are two things that every person worth his salt should know how to interpret these things are asked almost always one is ecg and the second is your abg 
these things are always asked uh, watch some good lectures uh, ecg i think dr mohsen is having a series you can watch that ecg you know dr najib gives it well but as far as abg is concerned that is just comes by practice not that tough actually these two things you should know how to interpret uh, and uh, they will definitely ask questions related to this either in, in examination and uh, be it your theory or be it your postgraduate interest examination hopefully i'm able to clear a lot of topics so again i'll reiterate the strategy emergencies followed by infection followed by restricting yourself to a limited number of topics either through coaching uh, attending or through certain books it can be the bhartiya book it can be the deepak marwa book or notes of the way or whatever, whatever it is you feel like or most importantly i'll actually say make your own notes from mini harrison topics of mini harrison and that's about it thank you and have a nice day